The book in this problem is pushed across the floor with a force P, 2.40 newtons, as it moves a distance of one and a half meters. And we're told that a kinetic friction force opposes it with a force of 0.6 newtons. Parts A through D ask us to calculate the work done by four different forces acting on the book. The work done by any force F is the integral of the force over the path. In our case, all these forces are constant, so this result becomes the dot product of the force with the displacement, which is the product of their magnitudes times cosine of the angle between them. And let's draw the displacement delta S here. In part A, we're asked to find the work done by the pushing force P. That force is directed to the right, the displacement is to the right, so the angle theta between them is zero. And the work done by the pushing force is the magnitude of the force times the magnitude of the displacement times cosine of the angle theta. Substituting numbers along with cosine of zero equals one gives us 3.60 joules. Part B asks for the work done by the kinetic friction force. In this case, friction is to the left, the displacement is to the right, so the angle theta between them is 180 degrees. Now for the work, we get a negative number because cosine of 180 is negative one, and it works out to negative 0 0.900 joules. Part C asks for the work done by the normal force. In this case, the normal force is directed straight up, perpendicular to the displacement, so the angle theta is 90 degrees, and the work done by the normal force will be zero because cosine of 90 degrees is zero. Any force perpendicular to the displacement produces no work. We get the same result in part D, which asks for the work done by gravity. Gravity is straight down as always, perpendicular to the displacement, so theta equals 90 degrees, and again we get no work. Finally, part E asks us for the net work done on the book. That's the sum of all the works done on the book. The work done by the pushing force, by friction, by the normal force, and by the weight. Adding those together, with the last two being zero, gives us a net work of 2.70 joules.